Hello and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Today we are covering a topic that is one of the most searched things. If you type in the words SEO and you type in any of these platforms, these are one of the most searched topics. Squarespace SEO versus WordPress, Squarespace versus Wix SEO, any of those types of things. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that today, cover some major highlight points. This is not comprehensive at all, but if you are starting a website, hopefully this will be helpful for you. Now, just before I begin, I do want to say, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Number one, if you hit that like button, it tells me that you got something valuable from this video, even if it's just one thing. It also tells YouTube a lot of stuff for the algorithms, but for me, it tells me that you found one thing valuable in this video, and I would appreciate that. Okay, so let's get into this. I'm gonna keep this high level, and we're just gonna to touch on some simple points as we go across the page here. There's a lot that you could dig into for any of these topics, but let's start with the basics. All of these platforms are gonna give you a lot of control. So, first and foremost, are they all SEO friendly? Yes. Is Squarespace? Yes. Is Wix? Yes. Is Webflow? Yes. Weebly? I don't know. Is WordPress? Yes. I don't know Weebly. I don't work with Weebly. All of these platforms are going to be great. It really just comes down to a few key features that I would recommend for a client. Now, this is the way I like to think about it. WordPress is going to give you control in areas that are very specific. So when it comes to controlling the code from top to bottom, left and right, WordPress is going to give you a lot of that control. Webflow is as well, but in a very developed format, WordPress has all of that built in. But just to get started with SEO, there's a few things you need to do. You need to download some plugins. You might have to pay for some plugins. You might have to download two or three plugins with WordPress, and that might cause problems with your site. I'm not a WordPress expert, but I do know that plugins are interesting on WordPress websites, and they could at times potentially cause issues now, when it comes down to other platforms, Squarespace or Wix, there might be one or two things you can't control. My background is with building Squarespace websites and doing massive amounts of SEO for Squarespace websites. So I have a bit of a bias here, but I'm also just talking in a general format. So any of these are platforms, I think, if it fits you and your needs, go for it. So perhaps for, let's say, Squarespace, you may not be able to control the fact that there may be code in the page that you're not using, that it's rendering. The reason this is important is a lot of people will go to Google Page Insights or Google Page Speed, do a speed test on their site, on their Squarespace site, and it will rank horribly. And then they message us and say, hey, can you improve site speed? There are a few variables that you could work with to improve site speed on a Squarespace website or a Wix website, and there's some stuff you can do. But if it's built into the template, it is not something you could change. Or put it simply, it's not something you can change without expert help. And so in regards to that, a lot of people will diss Squarespace or Wix or other platforms for their SEO capabilities because of these things. But bear in mind that one of the things I find most valuable with SEO overall and what I've seen with Google in my experience, a lot of this is like playing a game of chess and no one knows the rules. There are ideas and there are things that Google has mentioned that they go towards, but they use over 200 signals. This is what I've seen. Squarespace websites rank really well. Wix websites rank really well. Now there's a lot of factors to that, but they could rank really well. Pages on those sites could rank really well. So it doesn't come down to just these one or two factors that they quote unquote, don't offer. Squarespace and Wix out of the box are gonna give you everything you need to do for backend optimization, on-page optimization, literally built in natively to the platforms. Squarespace is really cool as well because it literally will give you access to Google Search Console right there in the platform. So when you go to your analytics, you can link up Google Search Console and you'll have it built in there as well. I personally recommend doing it both ways. So you do it in your website and you do it through Google Search Console, the actual website. But at the end of the day, they give you full fledged ability with SEO. And you gotta consider when they're producing millions and millions of websites and one of the most popular searches on Google is Squarespace bad for SEO. You gotta consider that they spend tons of money to make sure their code, the way they set up their sites is most optimized, is best optimized for Google search and other search networks. Now, with that said, if you feel like you're tech savvy, you're producing a blog and you want to create your own site, Webflow might be the best way to go. It's a great platform 
and it works really easily and it's very easy to optimize for SEO purposes. They make it fairly easy to do everything as well with SEO. And at the end of the day, if you really want to take control, you could export all your code from Webflow and take it to your own hosting and platform and set up everything the way you want. If you're just getting started and you don't have a web developer and you don't have a brand and you want good design, but you don't even know where to start, or this is your first time ever launching a website. Again, this is not, I have no affiliate link tied to this and I have an affiliate link, I'm just not doing it. With this, I would highly recommend that you go for something like Squarespace or Wix. My personal preference is Squarespace because they push the design orientation. The thing with Squarespace versus Wix, the one major difference is you do have a lot more control on customizing mobile, but because you have more control on customizing mobile, you have to do a lot more work to produce a website. It's fairly easy or much quicker to produce a website on Squarespace the way you like it, the way you want, and move forward rather than getting caught in a lot of little things. And don't even start on Webflow if that's confusing or that's a lot. And if you don't know what a div is, you're gonna have, a, <laughs> it's gonna be a interesting process if you start on a tool like Webflow. You might end up pretty frustrated in the process. All right, that is all for today. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you found one thing useful in this video, please hit that like button. It means a lot to me. On top of that, if you have any questions, drop them down below. I'm not gonna leave this video with any particular question. Maybe how did you decide what platform to use or what questions do you have about deciding what platform to use? That's probably a good question. Please comment down below if you have anything you want to ask. And if there's any content that could be helpful for you, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you. I love hearing from anyone who watches the videos. I answer all my comments. So please drop a comment below. But with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.